many of us, many of us were here in 1992 on these streets. Many more of us were never born at that time. But we stand proudly in that tradition. But we are more than that because this time we're not reacting to a crime against women. This time we're proactively out demanding our rights and saying we are not going to wait another 20 years. We're here, as others have said, to give a voice to the 150,000 Irish women who've had to travel from these shores to say, we are these women, your mothers, your daughters, your wives, and we are not going to put up with this any longer. In the past, you hid us in Magdalene laundries. You illegally adopted our children. Now you attempt to hide us on boats and Ryanair planes out of this country. Well, no more. Those days are over. And the only reason that this state is not responsible for more deaths of Irish women is because of the proximity of Britain. The only reason, maybe why we haven't been campaigning enough, is because of that safety valve. Well, we all know in these austere economic times, the option of finding a thousand euros is fast disappearing for many, many people. Young women, working class women, poor women, refugee and asylum seeker women do not have that choice. And the option of a forced pregnancy or dangerously importing abortion pills is just not good enough anymore. Now there are those who say that if you liberalise the abortion laws, the floodgates will open. This is an absolute insult to Irish women. Our abortion rates are absolutely similar to abortion rates in every other country. Our abortions just don't happen here. That's the only difference. And the reason for that has been historically the role of the Catholic Church and how much that was linked with the state. But crucially, it has been because of the systemic spinelessness and political cowardice that operates inside the gates of Leinster House. Yeah. 